Welcome back everyone 544 on this Friday morning. We've made it almost to the weekend. I'm probably closer than you are just because I start my day earlier. 27 degrees in Springfield right now. Very chilly across the Ozarks. We're looking at mid 20s all around the board. Now as you factor in the winds which are going to be strong out of the west today, it feels more like it's in the 20 or teens. 25 is what it feels like in Mona at 20 in Branson. Wind chill is going to be a factor all day long. While we'll warm up into the 30s, it's going to feel more like it is the 20s. So you're going to want to bundle up definitely before heading out. Good morning to start the car too. I think we'll see green light conditions. We're not having any major issues, so that's good news. Clear, clear sky, sunshine. It'll be nice. It'll be cold and breezy this afternoon, so maybe some of those high profile vehicles might have a few issues other than that. I think we're good to go. We're kind of stuck between two storm systems here, one well to our north and one well to our south. Will we see some cloud coverage with that? I think we could. I think our best bet's probably going to be just to the north of Highway 50. Four. We'll show you that on future cast dry conditions, but notice a little bit of cloud coverage north showing all the way down to I-44. I think it's going to stay further to the north, but everything south is going to stay pushed to the south thanks to that low pressure to our north. Dry conditions as we head overnight, it'll be very clear and cold tomorrow morning. Here's what we expect today. West winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour, so windy. 36 degrees will be about our high, but it's going to feel more like it's in the mid-20s overnight tonight. Winds will stay strong. Temperatures will be in the low 20s. It's going to feel more like it's in the teens. So just get ready. Wind chill factors are going to be an issue for quite some time. As we head into the next 10 days, we're not going to be above normal at all. Our warmest day is on Sunday and we're going to get to 44 degrees. Average is about 47 degrees, but look at this. Temperatures tank after that. We're going to see highs leading up to Christmas in the teens. It looks like Christmas Day, probably about 23 degrees. Those overnight lows, whew, it's going to be cold. Now looking ahead into the new year, though, I do think we'll see at least closer to average temperatures, so that's good news. This cold pattern, boy, I, that cold Canadian air is going to sink down into the middle part of the country. Our coldest time frame is going to be late next week, moving right into Christmas Eve, and then we'll start to even out just a little bit. Could we see snow? Well, we have a very active pattern in place, and there are shots, very small chances that we could see some of that white stuff or some of the wintry mix. This is on Monday. Temperature should be above freezing, so I'm thinking a wintry mix possible. And then again on Thursday, if that track stays to the north, we won't see much, but if it moves further to the south a little bit, I do think we could see some snow as we head Thursday into Friday and then possibly another chance Christmas weekend. Your seven day forecast. We are looking at a calm weekend. It's just going to be cold 44 on Sunday by Monday 38 with the wintry mix possible and then again on Thursday. I think there could be some snow possible with a high of 17 and a low of eight. Oh my goodness. Single digits there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was not expecting to see that. <laughs> it's uh, shocking. Yeah. All right. Santa bundle up. Natalie's been telling you all week, so you better listen.